bombs here. What's up guys, James Palms here. It's September 5th or 6th today, I think. And uh, yeah, back home from California and I wanted to do a yard update. I think I still got some more California videos in the in the hopper here to sort of speak. I got more that I haven't finished editing, but I just wanted to do a quick yard update. So just set this in the center here. My fire pit, a beautiful Phoenix Reclinatus. It's so dark green now, it's a gorgeous color. I've grown a lot this year. Just give a quick update. All right, so yeah, it's 35 degrees uh, Celsius currently right now, around 4 o'clock. Maybe we hit 36, I doubt it, but pool's 88. Gorgeous, just going for a swim. And uh, yeah, here's the female Trachycarpus fortunae windmill palm. We got a cloud coming over the sun here for a second. Um, it's okay, it looks nice when they're like this. And here's another little windmill up here on the deck with a little second one out of there. Getting ready to, I'm gonna get rid of these ones soon. Uh, here's a nice view though, up top. This thing has grown quite a bit this year. I don't know how, I don't know how well it's gonna fit in the box. This is, I'm reaching up there and I'm standing on a deck six feet in the air. I don't, I don't like the looks of this one. I don't need a new box. I don't like that. I only built it new not long ago. These ones here have grown quite a bit too. They'll still definitely both, these two will fit in their box, but definitely looking real good. Uh, this one, that one there, the trunk might have passed this one. It's hard to tell. It looks like it has. I'll put a beer can right, right beside the trunk here, inside a Yeti. So you can see the scale of the trunk there. And then there's that one there. They're both the same. This one may be passing it though. It's an airplane. Where are you? Uh, yeah, I guess this one's got, I think, uh, Eight, nine fronds on it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think it has nine fronds on it. There's one more at the back there, yeah, nine. And I think this one's the same, about nine. Uh, looks great though. Really big spread now. They're they're getting, uh, like I'm standing six feet away from it and they're definitely getting a big spread. These, this palm's gonna be kissing this one and kissing the railings and maybe even kissing that fence back there. These two are gonna be holding hands for sure. Uh, that's why somebody else asked why I didn't put another one there at one point and I was like, no way. They're, they're, when you see these things growing like that, they're gonna be so big. The spread will, uh, these will be, I'll be trimming them on this side to get, just to get my patio back here on these guys. But yeah, there you go. So there's beer can, there's the trunk. Maybe when you're up closer, it looks a little bigger, but pretty big, there's a giant hand. And uh, yeah, pretty good size. So doing great, lots of hair. Fronds are a nice, gorgeous color. And uh, this one's not doing good. It's not that it's not doing bad. It's just, it's it needs to be repotted badly or put into the ground. Uh, and this is the, these are the two from the How to Grow Mexican Fan Palm from Seed. These are the two that I took out first out of their Red Solo Cups. So those are the two from that video series. So uh, I'll uh, probably do a little update on that, but that's basically it. And then this one is the, the first one that I did where I did the sort of the time lapse of growing it from seed for how many years. So, and uh, Harley, you want to say hi? You like it in this heat? Oh, she's trying to sit in the shade of the palm tree right now because she was hiding underneath there early earlier when I came home it was too hot for her but uh yeah this male here has grown quite a bit too I had it pretty pretty shaved down I had I removed about 20 fronds off it uh because it dried out in the box the heat was too high and it dried it out yeah, I just left the hot tub open try to see if I can cool it down slightly it was about 106 degrees in there and now it's 105 looking great though everything's looking good not too bad, we got a few clouds coming over right now, but here's the uh, the jewel, the star of the show, Mexican fan palm, Washingtonia Robusta. This has been the one in my thing here. I'm standing at about 20, there's about 20 feet away from it right now to get it all in frame. This thing has grown a ton. Just absolutely ridiculous. The fronds are just massive. And uh, there's the trunk right there. Hang up with the bear can beside this trunk. So you can see the other trunks have quite a quite a ways to grow. Uh, and I did a 
another, I don't know, four or five inches of stri fiber strip in there. And I could probably go up another, I could probably go up another seven, eight inches easily, but I'll probably leave it till next year. Got a lot of fronds on it though, looking great. It's opening, oh, it's opening one now. It has three or four in that spear. It keeps about three or four together tight in the spear. And then it opens up when it's, when it's good and ready. When they're up high, I can't reach those center ones anymore. That's got to be 13 feet in the air. So this is, I'm six foot six and I, I could come close to the tips of this one. So that, that's really high in the air. I can reach about nine feet, eight, eight and a half feet. So just finished it open that one. It's going to open another one in the center and another one there. <sighs> Looks great. Can't really see the trunk there. I got to prune back. Some of these are getting, they're getting in the way here too. And they're looking a little ratty, but uh, at this point it's, it's getting late in the year. So I'll just wait till it's, just wait till the, the fall comes and I'll chop a bunch because I won't get those in the box. So this one definitely has to be redone right the box. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might try to just add to the top of it if I can, but all right, let's go check the front yard and uh, grass is starting to get dry now. So I, I brought all this hot weather home with me. The rest of the summer wasn't too hot and was rainy and now it's heated up and dried off a bit. So yeah, anyways, let's keep it going. Here. When to repot your palm trees. So I got a couple of palms here. Well, this is all of them actually, they all need to be repotted. Uh, just got home from California and they definitely need to be repotted. Now, some of these, they were all sitting here against the side of the house getting their morning and midday sun. Um, now, some of them started rooting underneath the thing here and some of them, somewhere on here, they rooted, some of them actually rooted into the, let's see if I can find it here. Oh, right here. So some of them actually rooted, you can see these roots are in the driveway. These were sable palmetto. And there was quite a few more that I snapped off. They actually rooted into the asphalt. So don't leave them until they're rooting into your house and rooting into the asphalt. And uh, I got another example here. This one here, this is a sable casarium. It's popped itself out because the bottom, the ball, like the growing bud uh, of the bottom of the palm is actually pushing itself up, lifting it right out of the pot. So don't wait till then, uh, till the, the palm's lifted out of the pot. And uh, and some of these other ones, they won't do that. They won't lift themselves out, but they just stop growing like these Mexican fan palms. So repot them sooner uh, than later. Um, and that's really the point of this video is when to repot them, don't wait till they look like that. The best time I would say to repot them is definitely in the spring or in the beginning of your growing season, unless you're all year long. Or if you just start to see a few roots poking out the bottom and they don't have 15 layers of roots at the bottom, it's a perfect time to repot them so you don't lose any uh, growth because if the roots are just, and certain palms are better, certain palms don't mind being more root bound. But if the roots don't have room to go deep enough and they're just getting dried out, that's going to be the end of it. You won't have any more growth. They'll just sit there stagnant and they can even tend to decline a bit. So. Uh, yeah, that's the right time to repot these and maybe I'll uh, show you here when I'm done uh, repotting them all. So there we go guys. So these are all repotted now. Um, this one here I ran out of soil. I gotta go grab some more, but uh, can't do that right now. So that's not a big deal, but we'll do it later. So anyways, yeah, that's when to repot them. Just repot them. Don't wait too long. Don't be like me and they'll grow faster. Um, this one wasn't as bad. This one's gorgeous though. This is a one of its first adult fronds on this uh, sable palmetto here. There's my hand with the frond. I've got this one and this one, two nice adult looking fronds. It's almost five years old, I believe, from the time I brought the seed home. The sable palmetto, looking good though. So I'm, I'm trying to cut down on my potted palm. So this is uh, this, and then just a few more I have over there. So uh, I'm getting down. I've gotten rid of and sold and given away almost all of them. So. Yeah, you can see the grass is definitely getting dry, especially down here. Definitely getting dry. Oh man, of course, as soon as you go to do it, some clouds come out. But it's actually nice because it was burning hot. So here's this guy here, well over the roof. Lots of gorgeous new fronds. Um, you can usually tell because the other ones are bent. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably about eight or nine fronds it made, probably about eight. Usually they make about 10 per year. Got another one in here trying to open it up right now. This thing's got a huge spread and it got some pollination from its brother here beside it. Got a bunch of seed stalks. A lot of those seeds, the other ones, for my opinion, that's what I think is when it, the seed pollination happened and these little dead spots here when it didn't get pollinated. So I think all this seed would be good. I don't really want it. There's a lot of seed stalks on there and I'm not sure. I'll probably just leave it on. Pardon me. There's the last year's seed stalks too. So 
I'll probably just leave it on. I might knock some of those off or just let them fall and let them germinate if they want to or whatever. But, uh, and then this was the mill. Both these palms are leaning away from the house. This one's got about three and a half feet of trunk there. That one's got about four feet, just over four. Maybe four and a half feet, four feet of a trunk. This one's got about three and a half. Yeah, yeah, about getting close to four. This one's a little bit tidier, a little bit smaller. Fronds are smaller. This one did the same thing, probably opened about one, two, three, four, probably about eight fronds right now. Opening another one there. But uh, looking great, guys. So I hope you enjoyed some of the California videos. I got more to come. But uh, here's the, uh, that one always looks a little sloppy just from me breaking the fronds, putting them in the box. But the new ones out the top always look nice. Maybe one year I'll just trim it all up. Uh, it's just such a shame when it has so much green leaves on it, right? Maybe I'll make the box way taller and annoy my wife because she doesn't want the boxes really tall in the front yard. Or maybe we have to dig these out one day and move them to the back or move them to somebody else's yard. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. More palm tree videos, more updates here uh, in Toronto, near Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Later.